pod, yeah. So Jim's saying he has no mic, so I'll just listen in. He'll just tune in for this session. That's why. That's why. Uh, I'll be listening to only. You what, Gary? I'm going to be on listening mode also, so that you'll hear. Okay. Him. All right. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. uh, chat. So who's this, Jim? Can you see my stuff, or how are you? Trying to figure out Jim. Let's see. Uh, type message. Yeah, on the on the chat. Yeah. Okay, I have to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Let me get everybody organized here. Oh, what do I do? So I don't want to chat. Where are you? Come on, Jim. Trying to get all of Jim here. It's one of the groups. Let's see. Click on video. All right. Uh, so hopefully Jim will work it. So let me go forward a little bit. Hopefully Jim gets in. What happened to my screen? I still see it. I don't know. Yeah, I still see it. Everybody see it. All right. So here's what I want to do. I was talking with Gary. Gary, are you listening? So what I want you to do is door knock or cold call the people around that uh, around at home where the listing is. So you guys can all do the same thing. If there's a listing within your office or anybody's office listing, it's just listed. You can use that and to door knock within the surrounding areas. So your whole idea is to drum up business within that next area. Within two weeks to a month, somebody's going to list in that area because that's how it starts turning. So if you don't uh, do it because you're going to start losing out, best way to do it is they'll ask you, yeah, I just saw that house is for sale. And uh, can you tell me more about it? So make sure you have some information about the property and you can describe it. And maybe somebody will say, hey, oh, it's similar to my house. And at that point, you can say, are you sure? Let me look at it. But when, make sure you guys get more input on the other property that you're talking about. Because if you don't know what you're talking about, then you're gonna, it's going to drop you out. So make sure you tell them. Go ahead, Gary. What's up? Okay. I want to ask. The usual information that I get is, uh, you know, bedroom, bathroom, square right. footage, lot size, uh, year build. That's pretty much it, right? Or there's more I should know? No, that's right. But then you want to also go and uh, check inside and see what they've done upgrades. So, so that, that way you can compare notes, basically. Okay. Make sense? Make a preview first. Yeah. yeah, do a small preview. Even if you have pictures with you, that way you can walk around and show them, like, look, this is what it looks like. What does your house look like? Why don't you give me a tour of your home now? Your whole game plan is to knock on these guys' doors and to go into the doors. Because without that, you're not going to succeed. All you're going to do is just run your uh, wheels, basically. Your tires are going to get worn out after a while. So if you can still see my screen, I wonder what happened. What did I do? I'm getting used to this thing. I want to actually really get used to this thing. So, oh, there you go. I'll put it on top. Let's we'll see what happens. If you keep seeing my stuff, one of the things, I think, Gary, you've already got what I uh, by the way, I'm checking on my stuff for yesterday that we were sending things out, Gary. Yes. Uh, inbound call received, no contact. There's nothing happening so far. I don't know what happened. So I'll, mm. have to, I'll have to talk to these people and find out how come I didn't receive anything or see something coming from you. Yeah, I did re reply to your email. And FYI, I never received your text from LionDesk. LionDesk, right. But... If I open up my uh, Outlook on my phone, I saw yours and Sharon's uh, emails coming back to me. 
Oh, for your phone, it does work. How yeah. about the text that you sent me? The text, I did not show, I did not see anything on the phone coming up. So that's what's throwing me off. Okay. So, good morning, Arvin. Zoom call tonight, yeah. See, none of the taxes that came in, it doesn't show up on this. So, I don't know what happened. But I'll have to talk to these guys and find out Monday, Tuesday, and I'll get more details on it for you guys. But the tax does work. And one of the things that uh, I want to tell you guys uh, is send out a video by tax also as a bulk so if you say hey you know what we just listed a property on one two three street if you guys are interested boom blast it out on your text messages and you can do it through your personal text messages to your friends and family members as well don't forget those people every friend and family member you have a right to send things out to them because they might get it but then you know what they can ignore it that's fine my suggestion to you is let them know, hey, I'm in business, but I'm also trying to drum up business coming in so that if you have somebody that you know, tell them to uh, call me and then we'll set them up an appointment to go and show the property. Because you never know, the more you talk, the more, it's the numbers games, guys. This is all a numbers game. The more numbers you send out, the better. Yeah? So let me see what Jim's doing. It's a coming. It's a talk coming from you. Jim's not entering. I don't know what's going on. All right. If well, Jim said he can see. He can see the video, unless you're asking him to show him himself, because his video is also. Or unless he's on the. I don't know. Well, if you can, I think there's a way to come in, Jim. Uh, but if you can hear me, that's fine. I'm also recording it. Right now we've got five people, I see five people right on top. So that's cool. Uh, one of the other stuff that I want to help you guys with, and Connie and Anton, I know you guys haven't seen this, so you guys can snap this also later on or take a picture of it. But I'm gonna send it out to you guys as well. But I wanna show you a little bit of a script. Yeah. If you I'm can sorry? See. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up. Can you guys see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, it says my spelling here. Hey, is actually from uh, John uh, Ferry, actually Tom Ferry. So he's saying, hey, the market is really hot, and he's on the move. It's hot, 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 and really on the up, up, up. Curious about your home value? Give me a call. So Gary, remember we were talking about yesterday? Was it yesterday? Uh, Chino, right? So, well, yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, all the contacts on your uh, phone, start texting the, text these guys. Every contact that you have, start texting these guys. Don't be afraid of it. Gary, I know you have a lot of numbers that you get in. But remember, you're going to go on Remind, and you're going to also get the list down, right, and start collecting the numbers. Once you do that, even if you don't call them, text the guys. Um, My whole game plan with you guys is to tax, 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 tax. Marvin, this, yeah. Question. Um, Do you think texting is this is the same as a phone call? Or yeah. a phone call? You can call also. You can also tax. My thing is texting is the new wave. Go ahead. Yeah, background noise. I don't know where that's coming from though. That's okay. I think it's from Anton. Anton, you're not on uh, mute. Be mute. I didn't know I was supposed no, to be mute. You're not on mute. That's okay. That, it's there's there's a few, a, real quick because I was I, I, after your uh, presentation uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. I started calling people, and one friend of mine said, "Hey Gary, why are you calling me?" It's like this is not you. Text me next time. And we're good friends. You know, he's not like he was annoyed. He was like he was very weird because we always text. Uh, one girl even told me like, "Hey, that's so old. Why are you calling me? Text me." Like, he, he didn't answer. Yeah, but don't, don't let them control you. You need to control them. So I'm going to call you like it or not. That's your problems. If, mm -hmm. you, don't, if you don't want to pick up the phone call, let it be. Go, let it go on voicemail. Then they're going to listen to you. You see what okay. I mean? So it forces them to listen to you no matter what. 
Mm. Don't let them dictate you and tell you, hey, text me. Text them as well. Will do. Thank you. You do both stuffs. Because texting is the long term program that you guys are going to work on. And I want you to do that video as well, long term. Because without this video, it's going to fall flat for you guys. Because these millenniums, they do text videoing. Make sense? So easy. This is simple. And once you make an appointment, by the way, take a CMA to the property, show them the CMA, and then ask them, what are your thoughts about selling? They're going to say yes or no at that point. If they say no, that's fine. Go to the next one. Do you know of anybody who's thinking of buying and selling? Simple. It's only a shortest, simple uh, sentence you guys need to talk about. Do you know of anyone thinking of buying or selling? Anywhere, anytime, always ask them. That's it. This is the basic fundamentals. Always talk about that. Do you know of anybody who's thinking of buying or selling a home in your area? I'm not going to ask you, hey, Gary, do you know if, do you want to sell your home? That's when you get confrontation. You don't want confrontation. You want to say, you know what? Do you know of anybody who's thinking of buying or selling in your area? Start with that. Let them try and help you. Help. Everybody wants to help each other. Right, but when you start asking for resistance by asking them directly, that's going to resist. You're going to get messed up. So focus on one thing. I I did one thing today. We were out at the gas station, and the lady next door was filling up. So I told this guy, "Hey, get out of your car, give her a business card, and say, ask her." He said, "Do you know of anybody who's thinking about buying or selling, buying or selling a home?" And she jumped because she got afraid. But he calmed her down and then he started saying, do you know of anybody who's thinking of buying or selling a home? And he says, I'm renting. So we deal with renters too. If you're looking for a new place to rent, I'm willing to help you. And he gave her a business card and they, she smiled and they left. I ask. It doesn't cost you guys anything. Make sense? So simple. Uh, Gary, I think you you got a feedback coming. <laughs> So always, always, if you're going to be on the phone with somebody, stand up. Don't sit and talk. Sit and talk is where you're going to lose. If you're standing up just like a singer, it emphasizes from your diaphragm how you talk to people, how you are excited. If you're smiling and everything else will come out, especially when you're talking. And that's very key to this thing. Even when you're talking as if when you meet somebody, try to stand up and talk rather than sitting across. When you sit always, you start leaning backwards. And this becomes very casual, but if there's no impact behind it. Lean forward a little bit and you'll see people will back away a little. But at the same time, you're taking charge. You're taking control. Same thing when you're standing in front of a, a door, do it at an angle. Never stay face face on like this because that's when confrontation starts up but if you do it at an angle it seems a little more passive and then you ask them hey do you know of anybody who's thinking of buying a selling home simple body language is important guys even in a meeting like if you're having a barbecue or if you're having a party or some that always face the person with your face but your body turn it and that's a guaranteed that you're going to tell them to welcome you. It's like, remember Kung Fu, the guy says, if I punch, then I'm going to take you off balance by pulling you on your hand, but not letting you impact you. So the same game plan is right this way too. If you had time, this there were two days, Thursday, yesterday, and today, Tony Robbins was in uh, LA downtown. So if you had a chance to go there, you could have gone there too. Yeah? So today I wanted to keep it short and sweet, but I wanted to give you the impact of knocking this thing out of the wood. The thing is I want you to keep it simple, keep it basic. Don't keep it too long and think about what am I going to say? How am I going to say? It? Don't confuse that. Confuse yourself with only one thing in mind. I need to be focused, no confusion allowed, and focus on do you know of anybody who's thinking of buying or selling home? Sweet, simple, that's it, guys. Jim, you get it? Can you type something? Hopefully he does. 
<coughs> yes, awesome, Jim. So let me go with Connie first. What's your struggle right now? Personal, it's just like I'm not pushing myself. It's more of like I just need to motivate myself. So maybe I should ask your husband to use a toothpick on you and start. <laughs> <laughs> right if he hears me he'll be laughing yeah I, yeah it's i know i have this potential i know i we have the potential it's my doing it it's more of me okay here's your here's your problem and the problem is not you the problem is the other uh, problem here is gary already saw it yesterday i don't know if you saw it uh Okay, I don't think I might have it. Let me just see if I have it here then. Because I need to send this to everybody. Gary and them already got it. So give me a second here. I might have it here, I might not. I'll load it up and I'll send it out to you. It's actually a poem written by somebody. And it talks about fears and it talks about success. You, I think you, 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 you shared that to us, I think, last time. But I don't I'm, mind taking, getting I'm it. Gonna send it. I'm going to send it out to you guys again, but look carefully about it. The whole poem is in the center. It tells you everything. It confuses you and everything. So what, what, are you, what are these people trying to tell me? What they're trying to tell you is right on top in little, it's not highlighted as much. It's in a shadowy way. Uh, we are experts at being, uh, actually, let me rephrase it. We are experts at being uh, negative about things, and we are experts at failure. But we are not experts at success and using success to basically go forward. Because the biggest problem is, he's having noise. <laughs> I think the background is coming. Put yours on mute, Mr. I can always call you back later. I'm sorry. Uh, right on top, you'll see what I'm talking about. And it's in a short, simple sentence. Forget about the fear, but forget, uh, uh, concentrate on the success because that's the fear you have. What will, hap what will happen after I uh, succeed? If I've achieved something, if I go one step up, now what? The problem is you haven't, uh, plan for it. Am I making sense? So the whole game is stop worrying about your fear, stop worrying about your success, but try planning. If I door knock and the person opens, is what do you want? I'm looking for somebody who's uh, thinking of buying or selling a home in this area. That's how it becomes simple for you guys. You guys get that? So I'm going to send that out to you guys. Uh, the next meeting, what I want to do is I want to show you guys. Gary, how many uh, listing appointments you handle? Today yeah. I have one. What? That's fine. But you average, you're trying to do average of five a week? Uh, that's the goal. One, uh, one appointment per day. So far, yeah. I've been lagging behind. Okay. Uh, no, I've also get one a week. Okay, so what I'm also going to tweak for everyone is I'm going to set you guys up for the 10.04. Gary, I think you got the link already. Remember, <clears throat> here's the link that I sent you guys. Or I asked you to copy yesterday. And the top one, top one is the 10.04 MC Excel sheet. I'm going to go over that. I want you guys all to download it and have it ready next week. Uh, Anton, I'll send you that link also, so that way you guys can download, Connie. Jim's already got it. Jim, do you have it for the entire thing, or well, you say you got everything? Cool. He's faster than any. <laughs> Jim's too fast for me. <laughs> so next week, I want to show you how to do a CMA, but at the same time, use the stand of 4 MC also to win uh, listings. Okay. I want you guys to use this thing solid because that's going to show them if there's an analytical mind like an engineer or someone, they'll blow them over with this 1004 MC. 
because it's got more information. I'm going to have to basically show you how to create a CMA from matrix and then take it into the channel 4MC Excel sheet and then have it printed out. All right. So that's your homework as of today. I'll send the links out. Are no. you talking about the link, the 1004 MC link? Correct. It's right on top. Do you see that in my screen or no? I see it. I see it. I even have a picture of it last from yesterday. Okay. So I want you to go and download that. You got it. I'm going to send everybody the same thing. And then once I send it out, just download it and take it from there. Okay. Wow. I'm looking at what is this? <laughs> I'm looking like, whoa, what is this? Yeah, don't play with it. I just want you to just open it, but let it be. There's, look at the bottom. It says, uh, yeah, let's see there. There you go. You there's no this? buttons. So. <laughs> yeah, but there's some buttons underneath. It says results. Oh, buttons. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's a results. You see there's a results segment here? Uh-huh. And there's also some maps here that comes up. So since this is in Google, I don't want you to worry about it, but once you get it into Excel, then it will actually explode pretty good. So you want us to download before we get on the meeting again? Yeah, I just download it and let me just see if I can open it up on my side. Yeah, I tried to uh, yeah. There you go. So bear with me, I'm, it's opening up here, yeah, there we go. There you go, Gary's kids. <laughs> <It's not mine. laughs> That's okay, Gary. So if I expand this, and let me close this guy. So if I expand it, there's a lot of information here. Don't worry about it. There's a results part of it, and you'll it'll build a, we'll build this graph. You won't be able to print this graph, but this part you're going to be able to print. And then this is the Tenos Fort MC. Also, it gives you a little bit more input. And you can use this on your listing presentation. You can start using this from now on as future for your listing presentation. This will not come out. And when, when, when they ask you, says, how come I'm going to interview with X, Y, and Z, tell them, to, tell them you're going to be the last person to, do, oops, to be interviewed. And once you do that, show them, says, did your other guys show you this? He says, no. So what is this? This is what the appraisers use to help the lender figure out what's going on in the market. And this is what they tell them, hey, the value of the properties come from here. And that's more accurate. So now you'll be able to predict and accurately price the home rather than be too much or too low. Because when you get a too high price and an appraiser comes in and they throw you off and says, well, you've priced the home too high, it doesn't value at that price. And then you, your buyers and everybody starts freaking out, right? So you might lose a, uh, more actually, you might lose a contract at that point. So this will help you out in the long run. So I'm gonna show you that next week, we'll take care of it. Uh, Jim, what's your question? Jim is typing in the meantime. Any, Anton, do you have a question? No, it's new to me, so I'm quite interested in uh, trying to use it. Trying to what, sir? To see how it works. Okay, cool. Are you prospecting or anything like that? Any difficulties in your prospecting? Uh, I'm focusing on open houses, and okay. uh, I was out of town last week, so I'm a little behind on what I'd like to do, so... Um, working to catch up on that. Got an open house this weekend and next weekend set up okay. already. Also, after and before you uh, do your open houses, you can still go on dock either side. Yes. Yeah, excellent. So, yes. Yeah. So don't give up saying, hey, I should have knocked before the open house. You can always knock after the open house. Because you can go and say Sunday, all right, I'm going to door knock these people. And they say, what do you want? They say, you know what? I had an open house. I didn't see you folks there. Do you guys know about this particular property? Remind them. It costs yeah. you nothing, right? Good idea, yes. Yeah, Gary's a door knocker, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> he's well, an expert. He's, he's with Century 21 Master. Are you in uh, Walnut, Gary? Walnut, yes. I'm in the one office, and I hit 150 doors a day. 
So you are with Neil uh, Schwartz? Yes. Okay. So I know Neil's, uh, I don't know him as boss, but I actually figured out with somebody that I was talking to. So other than that, guys, I want you guys, How? when do you want to guys talk? In two weeks time? Does it give you guys enough time? Well, the whole way to download the link, right? Yeah. How long does it take me to download the link? It shouldn't take you that long. Then let's meet to next week, Friday. Okay. You want to do next week, Friday? These people, uh, Connie and Anton, you want to do it two weeks later? That's fine. Uh, no, that was, um, that I don't want to be behind. You don't want to be behind? <laughs> no. Let's do it next week. I would suggest okay, probably we're just downloading it, so every Friday, then who Let's do Fridays, yeah. Right, if you can't be here, you can't be here. Okay. Yeah. Christmas is coming, and I'm not going to be left behind, so let's make some money. <laughs> <laughs> There's one guy that's aggressive, guys, amongst you, and Gary's the one. Right? So, Jim's <laughs> saying he's fine with next week, Friday, so we'll next yeah. week, Friday, 8 o'clock, guys. I'll okay. keep it short. I'll try and rock it for you guys. That's, that's really great. All right, guys. Thank you. Hey, Connie and uh, Anton and you guys, thank you again for the lovely gifts, guys. And tell Edith the same thing. Okay. I will. I'll tell Edith and Paul and Randy. Okay. Gary and Jim, we'll see you guys next week, too. Take care. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. All right, so take care.